It began as a routine observation, four of humanity's most powerful eyes in space, each focused on a familiar wanderer, Comet 318 Atlas. Once dismissed as a frozen relic from the early solar system, Atlas had quietly circled the sun for decades, breaking apart, reforming, and vanishing into the black. But in late 2025, something changed. Across multiple observatories, the James Webb Space Telescope, Hubble, ESA's Gaia, and NASA's NEOWISE, scientists started noticing something impossible. The comet's surface wasn't reflecting sunlight the same way anymore. Its once pale blue hue, typical for icy bodies, had deepened into something far darker. Within hours, instruments confirmed it wasn't just a lighting effect or sensor error. 3118 Atlas was changing color fast. And not just any color. It was turning crimson red, then darkening toward a shade that spectrographs labeled as unclassified. That word, unclassified, sent shockwaves through mission control. When James Webb's infrared spectrometer zoomed in, its readings went wild. The signature didn't match any known form of frozen methane, ammonia, or carbon monoxide, the usual suspects on cometary surfaces. Instead, it showed something that mimicked the light absorption of oxidized metals, like iron rusting, but with one crucial difference. The light wasn't just being absorbed, it was being converted. Something on or beneath the surface of 3118 Atlas was reacting to sunlight in real time. Is it alive? One analyst whispered during a NASA emergency call. No one dared to answer. Over the next 48 hours, all four telescopes confirmed the same phenomenon. The comet's albedo, its reflectivity, had dropped by 67%. That meant it was absorbing two-thirds more light than before. And strangely, its trajectory was shifting again. Not from gravity, not from solar winds, but from something else entirely, a self-directed burst of thrust coming from within the comet's tail. When the data reached the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, one scientist compared it to a wake-up pulse, as if it had received a command. Hubble's time-lapse imaging showed that the bright jets usually caused by sunlight melting ice were now coming from the comet's shadowed side, the side facing away from the sun. That shouldn't be possible. When Webb switched to deep infrared imaging, the picture that came back made seasoned astronomers fall silent. The darkening wasn't uniform. It formed patterns, circular, geometric, and repeating. In the raw, unprocessed footage, you could trace the outlines of six perfect hexagons wrapping around the comet's nucleus, glowing faintly like embers. It wasn't melting. It was transforming and deep in NASA's data servers, an even more chilling discovery was being decoded. Buried within the color shift was a frequency pulse, too precise to be random, the same frequency that had once been detected from Oumuamua, the first interstellar object that passed through our solar system in 2017. 3118 Atlas wasn't a comet anymore. It was sending something. When the signal was fed into AI models at SETI, the output read just one phrase across every attempt at decryption. The following morning, NASA declared Level 3 Space Alert, a status reserved for unidentified non-natural behavior within the solar system. For the public, nothing was said. Official statements labeled 31 Atlas as under active observation for unexpected outgassing. But behind closed doors, the tension was electric. The four telescopes, Webb, Hubble, Gaia, and Neowise, began working in synchronized intervals, tracking every flicker of light, every ion trail, every frequency pulse. And what they saw next turned disbelief into dread. Atlas's tail had changed direction, not away from the sun, but toward it. The material being ejected was accelerating faster than any known physical model allowed. Even more disturbing, the expelled gases weren't normal. They contained trace isotopes of hafnium, titanium, and nickel, materials found in spacecraft alloys, not comets. That's when someone noticed it, a faint but steady radio signal, repeating every 91 minutes. It wasn't background radiation. It was structured, modulated, 
deliberate. NASA's Deep Space Network picked it up from three different antennas, confirming its origin was indeed from 31 Atlas. And inside that signal was a mathematical pattern, a prime sequence from 2 to 61, followed by a silence of exactly 8.9 seconds, then repeating. When the same pattern appeared in 2019 during Voyager 2's Deep Space Communication Anomaly, it was dismissed as noise. Now, it wasn't noise anymore. James Webb's new data confirmed something unbelievable. The hexagonal structures on the surface were expanding. Each one emitted faint thermal radiation synchronized with the radio pulses. It was as if the comet was charging up. NASA convened an emergency video conference with ESA, JAXA, and the Indian Space Research Organization. The verdict was unanimous. This was artificial behavior. But the biggest shock came when Gaia's optical sensors detected a sudden flash, a brief three-second burst of ultraviolet light from Atlas's core. The event released enough energy to outshine an entire small moon. Moments later, the radio transmission changed. It was no longer the prime sequence. Now, it was a message. When decoded, it formed a string of binary data that, when visualized, displayed a pattern resembling Earth's orbital diagram. But there was a red marker, blinking at the intersection between Mars and Jupiter, right where Atlas was headed. The signal repeated three words over and over. Vector locked. Inbound. The room went silent. NASA analysts speculated that Atlas was not a natural object at all, but a vessel cloaked in cometary debris, conserving energy for decades before activation. The darkening wasn't decay, it was shielding. The color shift? A reaction to sunlight triggering the next phase of its journey. When Hubble's final transmission before orbital maintenance was received, the comet's shape had already begun to distort. A faint metallic reflection appeared beneath the melting crust, symmetrical and rotating. By the time Webb locked its focus again, the comet was no longer tumbling randomly. It was stabilizing. Is it preparing to enter orbit? One engineer whispered. But another, older scientist shook his head. No. It's preparing to arrive. The last data stream before NASA encrypted all access showed a dramatic spike in energy output from Atlas's core, equivalent to a fusion ignition. And then, the signal stopped. All four telescopes, Webb, Hubble, Gaia, and Neowise, went dark for seven full minutes. When they came back online, Atlas had vanished. No visual trace, no debris, no tail, nothing. Hours later, a classified alert was issued across multiple space agencies. A small, unknown object, approximately 120 meters wide, had been detected entering a stable orbit between Mars and Earth. It had no official designation, no catalog entry. But internally, NASA labeled it Atlas Prime. And in the final, unpublicized log entry before the system blackout, one chilling line appeared on the control feed from Webb's AI monitor. Emission spectrum matched to artificial alloy composites. Object behavior consistent with activation sequence. Status. Hostile parameters detected.